My name is Stefan Macchio. I'm a recording artist, composer, producer, songwriter. Music's been part of all my life. I've been playing the piano since the age of three. It's not that I didn't have any choice. I just it really, I felt music was my life and is my life. I went to school, got my degree in piano performance and composition at the university level. Uh, shortly after graduating, I was signed to Sony ATV. The highlights of my career so far, I've been working with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. I've had uh, many opportunities to conduct and arrange some great records and to work with them and conduct them, which has been amazing. Obviously, as well, having my, uh, one of my songs recorded by Celine Dion, which uh, inevitably became a, a huge song for her and, and for, for, for me, uh, a song called A New Day Has Come. Working with Sarah Brightman as well has been an amazing experience. Uh, having Josh Groban as well record one of my songs. The irony is that every great song that I've written or every massive song that's gone to the world, I was at a point in my life where I was sort of at, at a really low point. Um, there's, it's, it's just funny how sometimes when, you, when you're just about to give up on something, something just kind of knocks you over and just, it just and shakes your world and, and reminds you that uh, everything's going to be alright somehow. I feel very lucky to have been part of some, some great records and to have worked with some really amazing artists. Obviously I grew up in the Catholic Church and I always, I always credit the Church for introducing me and still reconnecting me with great music and great harmony, particularly the music of Bach. And if you listen to organ music, and you know, some, some people oftentimes will think that uh, church music is boring, uh, but if you sit there at Mass and you're just not into it, listen to music. Listen to the way that sometimes those chords resolve and the way that the harmonies sort of they just cluster together so beautifully. And if that alone to me is enough for me to sort of hang on to faith. It's the weirdest thing. I, I you know, and I, I don't know if I'm shocked people by saying that, but my faith sometimes is driven more into the music at first because it is something that's just sort of, that is so beautiful that you can't define. That is God, you know, just in the beauty itself of things. It's just something that is bigger than all of us.